Hey guys. <coughs> okay. <coughs> hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a review and tutorial on the new Kylie Cosmetics Fall Collection. I am a little late on these. They came out, I want to say, beginning of October. It is now pretty much Thanksgiving, so I am a little late. But we'll get into why in a minute. I did have other stuff like highlighters and all that kind of stuff. But I feel like I already have enough of her highlighters and enough of her other lip kits. So I just thought that I would stick with the purple theme and just get the eyeshadow and the liquid lipstick. I was kind of like falling off of the Kylie Jenner bandwagon just because her birthday collection was an ultimate fail for me. I did not like really anything in there. Um, I can link that video down below so you guys can see that. But it just... The collection just wasn't for me so when sh i saw this fall collection i was just kind of like uh should i try it should i not try it mm, i don't know so then i ended up caving and buying it because i really wanted to test it out and see how good it is um kylie's eyeshadows have always been really good in my opinion so yeah i'm excited to do some purple looks today um so if you guys want to see my review on this fall collection then just keep I can't on watching remember the, the prices right off the top of my head but i'll have all of the links to the products and the prices and all that good stuff linked down below so always check the description box because if i say something wrong in the video or i forget something it's usually always down there i really take the time out to put a very descriptive description so that it looks good and that you guys can really just go down there and see everything that i said in the video what shade i'm using all that good stuff so if you always have a question make sure you look at that before you ask the question because i guarantee you i'm going to be like it's in the, the description okay so to prep for eyeshadow i use the abh concealer i always do this before i put eyeshadow on i just cover my entire lid with concealer and then i'll go in and set it with like a setting powder that way the eyeshadows blend nicely and everything shows up true to color I'm going to start off bold and just use this shade right here as my transition shade. In this palette, there's not really a transition shade for my skin tone. I don't want to use this like gray color because I just feel like it's not going to show up on my skin. So I'm just going to go ahead and go in with this purple and blend this in the crease. So comparing it to like an other eyeshadow palette that she has came out with, like the Burgundy palette or the All Matte palette, the very first one she put out, um, this eyeshadow just seems a little bit drier than normal. So it's taking a longer time to blend out, which I mean, it is what it is, but I just feel like her other eyeshadows are a lot creamier and it allows for them to blend out a lot easier. Next, I'm going to go in with this shade right here, which is like a burgundy shade and it's called Wine and Dine. Oh, and the first shade that I used was called Lilac. I'm taking this in my crease as well, but just taking it a little bit lower. And into like the outer V of my eye. So in the palette, this shade kind of looks more of like a burgundy purple, but this one is definitely like a true purple. That's what is showing up on my eyelid. It's like a true purple color. I'm going to take some concealer and cut my crease. I like to do this with my eyeshadow just because it looks super cool. And it looks like you actually like tried hard and really took the time to cut your crease out. But really, you just apply concealer and it just makes everything look a lot better. And kind of cleans it up a little bit. So I'm just taking it and putting it right here where I'm going to put my lid color. I'm taking the shade right here and it's called stone and it's kind of like a lilac -y pink shimmery color and I'm going to apply this all over my lid yeah so building it up definitely works just put a lot on your brush and then use packing motions
go back in with that dark shade we used that was called Wine and Dine and just apply it right here and try to blend these two colors together. Just so it looks a little bit more seamless. I'm going to take this shade right here which is in the shade Turning Violet and it's like a really pastel purple color and I just want to apply this in the crease just to lighten this look up a little bit. I feel like in the crease we kind of got a little bit out of hand so I'm just going to apply this like right up in here. That way it doesn't look you know too dark and it just allows it to blend a little bit better. All right, so I'm going to leave the eyeshadow like this, and then I'll come back and do under my eyes, the liquid lipstick, and then tell you guys my final thoughts on the eyeshadow palette. Okay, so I'm back. <laughs> so now I'm going to go ahead and go back in with, let me think, let me think. I'm trying to figure out what do I want under my eyes. I did put black eyeliner under there already. I think. All right, so I think I'm going to go back in with this middle shade right here, which was the Wine and Dine shade. I'm going to take it on like a pencil brush. Now I'm going to take the shade right here and this one is in the shade Blueberry. And I'm just going to apply this under my eyes as well just to blend that first shade out. And I think this has a little bit of shimmer in it. So now we're going to try out the liquid lipstick. This is the Kylie Jenner Matte Liquid Lipstick and Lip Liner Lip Kit situation. And this one is in the shade Wicked. So it is like a really pretty purpley shade. I actually do like the liquid lipstick formula from Kylie. I think that it's really nice. It's like a thin consistency. So it's not going to like, I don't know, sometimes liquid lipstick can be super thick. But hers is not like that. It's thin. I like the smell of them. Um, so I don't really have any complaints as far as like the formula of her liquid lipsticks. Now the colors, I feel like I don't know what her color scheme is looking like. <laughs> but um, just because some of the nudes I feel like definitely do not fit women of color. But I mean, I guess she's just trying to have a variety of colors. I don't know. But this one is in the shade Wicked. So I'm just going to line my lips using the lip liner and she has really good lip liners as well like I really like them okay so it looks like the lip liner is lighter than the liquid lipstick so I don't know if that's intentional but that's how it's kind of showing up on my skin tone yeah I'm gonna apply another layer mainly on the bottom lip just because it's kind of like breaking up right there So I'm definitely here for the collection. Um, this eyeshadow palette is bomb. I think that the eyeshadows blended well. I just feel like it's not her typical formula. So I don't know if she switched up the formula on us because I feel like the other eyeshadow palettes have been a lot more creamier and softer, I guess. But these seem a little bit more dry. But ultimately, I'm not really complaining because I feel like they ended up blending well and then they're nice and pigmented. Um, now, if you do not like purple eyeshadows, uh, don't get this palette like just don't um it's a nice palette but I feel like if you don't like purple then you're not gonna like this eyeshadow palette if you were trying something from Kylie Cosmetics for the first time ever like I wouldn't suggest this palette just because it's it's not for everybody I would probably recommend like her burgundy palette or the very eye first eyeshadow palette that she came out with um just because this is all purple and a lot of people don't like purple like that and I don't feel like it caters to a lot of different preferences you know um but far as the formula of the eyeshadow palette I do like and I definitely am happy that I bought this and I'll probably be reusing it again the liquid lipstick is nice I feel like the lip liner was more of like a burgundy type shade and then this was definitely like a true 
purple like what we have on our lips now but overall I do like her liquid lipstick line I think that she has a really nice formula they're not too drying or anything like that and they definitely last a very long time but yeah those are my thoughts on those two products um I think Kylie is trying I feel like a lot of people don't give her enough credit she is just like everybody else making errors going through things you know testing out things trying them out so I feel like people can get off her back I mean she's Kylie Jenner she's doing her thing to be so freaking young so I'm here for it um, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel on your way out. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.